welcome everyone. Thank you for coming uh, to support Antonio with his presentation. He's going to describe for you his senior project and uh, uh, we'll also provide a time for some questions and answers afterward. So if you've got something, let's go ahead and let him do his presentation. Make yourself a note and then he'll answer anything that you want to know about. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, if you don't know me, I'm a Tony Cassini. I will tell you a little bit about me. I'm from Caracas, Venezuela. I'm 22 years old. And this is what I'm going to show you. It's my senior project that I titled it as the journey of evaluating data. My focus, my, my department, my area that I was focusing on this senior project, it was about database. If you don't know a little bit like what, what, what is database, I will tell you a little bit like a definition of it. It's a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easy access, managed, and you can update it as well. And after this definition, if you have been in a former or before uh, past years to a senior presentation, this is very different from it because former presentations, it have been projects that the students will build from scratch and they will create something that will be an important part of our CIS department or for the university. But in my uh, example, in my case, it's very different because of what nowadays the uh, the university changed from the database to another and they want to change like uh, data and information so they didn't want me as a student like to touch them and I could probably ruin some information about students and so I had to do another thing another project and this project had a purpose of making or subscribing and to be enrolled with two online courses related to data, to database. With uh, also, in addition to creating those courses, I had to give a presentation with, uh, to the CAS students and also to the CAS department about what were my knowledge and why did I learn about it. And with that knowledge, I had uh, that gives me to have a goal of improving my knowledge about this day about data and how to manage how to develop data and also manage me like to explain and to incentivate the CIS students like to be more focused on this area in this department in computing because I have I have learned that not the entire uh, department had been really related to this type of uh, this department, so this area of computing. So, after talking this introduction to my senior project, I will tell you what was, how did I, uh, what did I, how did I elaborate to make this senior project? Like I told before. I did two online courses in Udemy. Udemy is a website that you can enroll, you can subscribe to uh, be enrolled or to be in an online course and it can be free or paid. These are the two online courses that I did related to database. Data Science, the first one is Data Science, AC, Real Life Data Science Exercises. It, will, it had three different parts visualization, modeling, and data preparation. With uh, visualization, they were explaining to me about uh, Tableau. It's a, it's a, if you don't know a little bit about Tableau, it's a software company or a program which produces uh, the data visualization products that focus on business intelligence. The second one in modeling, it's Gradle. It's an open source statistical, uh, statistical package that's mainly for econometrics. And that Gradle, it's, a, it's an acronym 
that it would stand for Geno Regression Econometric Time Series Library. And for the data preparation, I, they taught me about SQL Management Studio and Visual Studio. SQL Management Studio, it's a software application that is used to manage, to configure, and to administrate all components that it's for SQL, Microsoft SQL Server. And Visual Studio, it's, a, it's an IDE. What's an IDE? It's an integration development uh, environment that is used to develop computer programs for Microsoft uh, Windows, and also you can you can create web, uh, websites, web applications, web services, and mobile applications. And for the second, uh, second course, uh, they were explaining about R programming. That's R for data science with real exercises. This, I, I was using a program in open source called R Studio. That it's also an IDE. Uh, integrated development uh, environment that it uses R programming language and it's, it uses C++ language, programming language. So after, after explaining you this uh, global definition of those programs, I don't really focus on what did I accomplish with those programs. For the first part, visualization in Tableau, I perform data mining and understanding how to apply a key-square statistical test. For this, uh, for this uh, program, it is to to say colloquially, and like for non-technical or non-computing person uh, understands better. It is a drag and drop uh, program that you can get any of these uh, variables and plug it into one of those columns and rows and you can relate one variable or more than two variables with each other. Like in this example, I, could, I, I got the geography variable and I displayed it and dragged it on this uh, screen and it will show a map of the it will show a global map that it will determine where are those uh, data, are those information located. Uh, and here you can see that my products or the information that I had, it was in Germany, France, and Spain. Another exercise was to relate gender with uh, number of products. And this is more for, this example is more for banks that they will use, uh, they will focus on which, uh, what strategy, strategy are they gonna do for, like in this example, having female and male as variables, and they will know what's the percentage of them that stay in the bank or they exile the bank. This is a very, uh, I would say, easy program to, to know, and also it's very, uh, it's very easy to implement and to share your information about business, and it's very uh, useful to when you are in a meeting that er everyone in the company, no matter if you're from technical department, or to a business department, or to a high level department of the of the company, can know what's the focus that the that the company has to go. After having this uh, wonderful and more uh, easy way to explain things in business, there is the other one for the modeling part. It's Gradle. Gradle, I create a simple linear regression multiple linear regression, and dummy variables. For this uh, uh, stage, for this part of this uh, course, I, I remember one phrase that Dr. Nelson always, I think if I left, uh, if I when I graduate, that's one of the phrases that I will 
probably remember that what the computer can do, it's pass current or not. And that's one of the uh, functions of dummy variables. It's a variable that you can use and you can put a, a value of zero or one. Like you will, you will uh, uh, focus on it or you won't focus on it. So after watching Tableau, that it's more of displaying, more colorful, and more uh, easy to understand. Gretel, it's very, to be honest, it's, it was very tedious and it was hard to hard to understand. If you don't have any background, any business statistics background, because right here we got the same variables, and you will create a relationship between those variables and they will show you the C, the C function, the C stats, the P value, the coefficient between them, the standard deviation, the media, the mean. Here we got how to create dummy variables, like I said before. And what I'm talking about here is a relationship between those variables, and they will show you the p-value, the c-function, the standard deviation error, the coefficients, and it, this is more as a business statistics program. After being uh, very impact with this program as being a little bit tedious, then this is these two programs for the data preparation, the SQL Management Studio and Visual Studio, for me personally, it wasn't really uh, a surprise. Because uh, back home, first, because I, got, I had a database class with Mrs. Todd, and I probably, and I had a little bit of scripts, of query, and a little bit of background with how to create database, but also this past summer, I did my internship back home in a bank, and they were and I was in the programming department, and they were using these two these two uh, programs. So when you create a, if you want to create a web application and you want to insert data into it, they were using these two uh, example, these two programs, and in this course. The new things that I, that I learned from it, it was to create a condition, a conditional split in SQL Server integration services, and create scripts like, and like updating, like how to uh, do scripts and queries. And one example of, of those uh, tasks that they want me to do was here for the conditional split that you will have the data in the file fi in the flat file source, and you will create a conditional split. It's a conditional or a uh, a rule that it will say if this happens, then it will uh, it will send information to one part, and it will send the right information to the other part. There, uh, this it will eliminate or you will delete anomalies. It's something that is not normal for a business or something that you don't want a business to to get into it and it will cause problems. So after this process con after this process complete is complete it will create a data table with all the information that is useful for that company and it will create it in your database. This is a normal, a normal data table with uh, all the, their rows and all the information that has in that data table. And in this part, I create sort of procedures. It's, they are templates that they are very useful. So if you delete something or you you don't you don't remember some extra extra functions or extra queries that you, for some reason, you don't remember, they, they create those templates so you can go there and search a little bit from the, for them and you can implement them. 
and that's for the first uh, course. And for the second course, for R programming, I learned how to create variables. How about integers, uh, doubles, logics, characters, and other types in R? That's, that example, if there are data types for those variables and learn how to build and use matrices in R. This uh, program, they looks, for me, looks kind of like a shell or a command line for Linux that you will have, here you will have the, like the command line where you type the code and you can create variables, like here. And here you will have the packages that you will use and that you have to install them or you have to activate when you start, install them. And there's another example of in, while using that program. After having those 80 hours of that project, I learned that in addition of developing more in data and knowing more about database and how data can be related to each other, I relate that uh, in life things, it, they don't come easy and you need to have time, spend time, you need to have dedication and you need to have a good and positive mentality to go into this whole process of creating something or developing something. That's why I had this picture of an iceberg. Like if you you always you only you only see the good thing of of the things like like the finished process, a complete process. You don't see the dedication, the time, that hard time that you spend doing something, doing things and failure as well because I know these, these two are two online courses that probably if you think it's not like a real senior project where really dedication, the time that the assignments that they, they make you do, the homework that they make you do, that's what matters in the time that knowledge they will, they will recommend in your knowledge. And not also that because of sharing the information to the CIS students or the CIS department because what I told at the beginning of the presentation there were a lack of area in the lack of knowledge in the area of this department that they don't want to mess up with data. And what I learned also one phrase in that course that that's, that structure told, that was saying that in at least five to seven years at least every single department of the company has to know a little bit about data so they can share information and they can take the best decisions for the, uh, the best strategy to, to accomplish things and to grow as a, as a business. And being as a international student as well as a student from Caracas, Venezuela, just coming here and expressing the knowledge that I learned from this, this encouraged me, for, like personally encouraged me, like there's nothing that can pass you or it's just, there's nothing that it's in front of you. Like you can have in a, you can be in another country or you can be, to, you have to learn another language or in my case, I have to improve a little bit English because I knew English before and that what I said, life is not easy and you have to go through it, dedication and hard time with it. And after this hard work of that 80 hours of these online courses and giving the information to the CS students, I got an award of those two after completing those two courses. I had a certification for those two courses and this is what I can incorporate into, for example, my resume, and it's a really important information like into my life. And thank you very much for listening. And this was my senior project. And if you're curious about 
What was the name of it? It's because it was a whole, a whole journey, a whole path, a whole uh, travel of new things and creating and developing data that some some of the some of the past some of the path that I that I went through I I knew a little bit but also there was a really something new for me and this is what I want to share to you. So thank you for coming and I have questions if you if you have some doubts, some things that you wanna say. I think he's asking you, do you have any questions? <laughs> what was the hardest part? The hardest part, it was the modeling part because what I said before, Gretel, it was so tedious that if you don't have a business background, a business background, you won't understand what, what was going on, what is the information they want to show you, what's the purpose of that program. That was the hard part of it. Yes, let's stop. Uh, the first program you showed, Tableau, was visualization. Visualization has exploded across the world. It's very important. Why? I think you referenced that, but give us a more specific reason. Because it looks so easy. Just drag something, you get yeah. a pretty picture. But that's not exactly what was there. And why is it so important? I think it's important because you don't need a business background to to try to do or try to implement uh, or to show business or to show data into it. And it's also that you, right there, you can create any, uh, most likely, any kind of graph to express the information that you want to share. And also, what I said before, uh, if you are in a business, in a business meeting, you can share that information easy so everyone can be in the same page and everyone can take a business decision to, to increasing sales and decreasing cost. But there's still data behind it. Not yeah. everyone could set it up well. Is that correct? Yeah, but it's only, it's just the data that they, that they have over there in Tableau, it's only a, a Excel file or a text oh. file information that when you plug and you open it, just like in, if you have some information and you open it in Excel, it's just that the same thing that you open a text file or an Excel file to Tableau. It will show you specifically all the variables, all the information that you have over there. Why do you think you're so intrigued by databases? First, uh, because first this was when I I will be honest with it, with you guys when I came here into HLG I didn't know anything but anything about computing uh, that big box that you see with all the, the with all the circuit on it that's what they told me it was a CPU. So in my first class with Mrs. Todd and Dr. Nelson about intro, intro to computer, they were talking about too many things that that first week I was this close to like retire because my really, my really, really, what I studied back, back home, it was uh, county. So changing my, from flipping from this side to this side, it was very hard, and the first thing that, the first area that I learned and I understood very well, and probably is very related to accounting, it was database. So since then, I have been more focused on how data was, how data was developing, how you relate data, how you analyze data, and also with that experience that I had back home, that also helped me uh, focus on that type of on that type of area in this computing department, in this computing area at all. Well, are you glad you succeeded through all of this? Yeah. <laughs> Hard work, right? Succeeded very well. So, what kept you from going home? You said you were this close. This close. It was because 
my really my my desire my my focus in life since I was a child was coming here into the United States and play baseball here and also having a like getting a degree here that was my really my focus on and when I think about retire I remember that I battle and I fight no matter what the situation in Venezuela was. I battled that come here and had the opportunity to be here. And first, like two years before I came in 2014, I did the SAT and it, was, it wasn't very good because of English wise and didn't have the opportunity to come. And then the only opportunity was this one. And I thought that this was probably the unique and only opportunity to come here and probably succeed in my dream. Probably next semester, hopefully, <laughs> we'll graduate with a my, with a major in a, a major in computing and minor in accounting. Unfortunately, since he didn't get to work on the databases on campus, which we understand, but we were sorry, um, we did have to come up with a different plan. But since then, we've had two different people request for some help for some database work. So he's still going to get to do some more of that, I think, if it works out. But we're pursuing and investigating. So we hope that he still gets to touch all of those those pieces. Okay, thank them. Thank you very much for coming. And if you need something, if you want to ask me something, you are really welcome to do it. And and again, thank you for coming to our presentation. Thank you. You can leave those or give those papers to Dr. Nelson and um, pins back in the case. We appreciate the way you come and help support students in this because it is a big, important deal for us to...